Good morning, my beautiful people. Smile, no pretty bad, you know. <laughs> but yes, let's jump into our second conversation for today. We're here joined with the Belize Powerlifting Association. And, and we're going to be talking about an upcoming tournament held in Panama. So we would like to introduce you gentlemen today. We have here with us the president of the association, Mr. Khalid Usher. Mm. How are you doing, Khalid? Good, good. All right. No, wake you up too early, right? Because we don't have any at years so. We also have powerlifter Robert Williams. How yes, are you doing? Yes, I'm doing great, wonderful. And well, Leo Matura, the one we know, wake up early, people. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm perfectly fine. All right, great. So let's just dive right into it. How hmm. Belize Powerlifting Association. Could you give us a little history yeah. about the association and basically what you guys do? Okay, so um, basically, um, Belize Powerlifting started with a bunch of my friends basically in university. Um, we went abroad one year to compete in Mexico City at, their, at Mexico's Powerlifting Championships. Okay. Um, but at the time, we didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to actually place or get any awards there. Um, because, again, it's their national. Mm -hmm. um, as Belizeans, we weren't um, entitled to any trophies, no matter how well we did. Right. Okay. And from that point, we decided that, hey, we can do this thing on our own. Because it was a sport we were interested in. Um, so uh, myself and three other persons came together and decided that um, we're going to bring it to Belize and try mm -hmm. to grow the sport from there. Um, it's, been a, it's been a while. <laughs> how much um, years? Um, so far... Fully two years. Um, we had our okay. first national competition last year, and then we did our second this year. Again, wow. Okay. 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 Right. wow. <laughs> I, I'm shocked. <laughs> but okay, so here we are now. We, we're going to an upcoming tournament in Panama. I don't know which one of you guys want to take this. How This is a North American Powerlifting Federation's uh, competition, international competition. How are we preparing for this? Well, I could take, I could, I could speak on that. Um, we're preparing night and day, morning to, morning to night. Um, I normally prepare. I, I get to the gym roughly about 5, 5 a.m., 5.30. And sometimes if I can't get there in the morning, I get there in the evening. Um, it's, it's very taxing on our body, but the, the opportunity to represent the country and to come and have a great opportunity to bring back a medal is making us like have that extra energy and drive that we have that we never had before. I competed in strongman competition in Belize for over four, uh, four competitive years. Um, the only person ha that have been competing and beating me is his, his, um, his fellow um, friend, Kalon Godoy. And the great thing about it is that he actually just came back from South Africa. Oh. And he, he placed eight over 20 competitors in the world. Okay. Wow. So, so he gave us that drive to say, man, we got to put our effort in and put, that, and put that drive to go out to Panama and bring back some medals for this country. It's a young sport. We're young. We're just starting off. But we got an opportunity of a lifetime. We have eight competitors that's really been dedicated, driving. Some of us have long hour jobs. Some of us is in studies, but we push to get this thing done. And I'm telling you, Belize, we're ready to go, and we are coming back with some medals. That's how I. That's how I could take it to you guys. That the higher do it. Question yeah. for you guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, when you hear powerlifting, what do you think or assume it is? I I, I could tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. My shoulder the papota place. <laughs> but no. Uh, uh, I could imagine, uh, well, I've seen your Instagram stories about, you know, with the barbells, with all these weights, putting it over, squatting, um, lifting on a hole. Uh, so that's my thought about what it is. Yeah? Okay. And so, I could imagine the de-stress that comes from that. I have two friends that do powerlifting, so I do know a little thing or two. So oh, that's, that's why I'm making answer excellent. first. <laughs> but um, Ryan, mm -hmm. Bud, and then Jacqueline. Yes. Um, so okay. they're amazing, and I understand, like you know, de depending on your weight, um, you get into different areas as well as your, yeah. you know, you go and bump up. Like I know, I, I forgot the last time I was watching Jacqueline's store, and she she actually is like really growing when it comes to like her weights and stuff like that. So I know it's based on like you know your weight class, and then mm -hmm. also about the weight that you can be able to to lift up. And there's a lot of techniques that go into it. It's really rigorous. Like you have to put in the time. You can't just wake up and say I will be a power lifter. There's yeah. Yeah. so much discipline that goes into it. So, but it's very rewarding too as well. And I love to see females get involved mm. in it. That's 
That's just added. My bias. That's the beautiful thing. <laughs> and, and one of the um, wonderful things about Pearl Fing is it's, it's so inclusive. Like, out of all the sports I've been a part of um, since I've been athletic, I think Pearl Fing has by far been the most inclusive. Um, our oldest athlete going to Panama with us is Mr. Yeah. Lita Sharp right there. Yes. The oh, okay. Um, she's in her 50s, right? And wow. She's not lifting up any small That's weights. Awesome. She's lifting up over 200 pounds on her back, off the ground. She's benching. Um, the full 45 plates, um, again, at our recent nationals, the youngest competitor was 12 and the oldest was 78. Right? Wow. Wait, you're yeah. going to 78 though? Okay. Yeah. Um, again, the, again. Brands. <laughs> <laughs> Brands, you could do this now. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's so inclusive. Um, the young, the old, um, it also gets divided by weight class. So there isn't, again, so Leo is, would be in the 74 kilo. Robert would be in the 120, and I'm competing in the 93 kilo class. Okay. okay. Just, right? just to grow on um, his explanation, I feel uh, so powerlifting is different from bodybuilding and from um, Olympic weightlifting, primarily because they comprise of three compound lifts, which mm -hmm. you're judged on. One, the squat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, two, bench press right. and deadlift. And these are the three key lifts that you would actually try to maximize on, on three attempts within a competition. So unlike Olympic weightlifting where it's a clean and jerk and in bodybuilding where it's more of a show of muscular mass and definition, I, I find that it's important to say that that's the actual difference in powerlifting as well. Just to... You know, no, I, I love that explanation because people out there hearing it, yeah. like, they think they're going to group it in one same, you know, box and yeah, you're yeah, not no, supposed no. to do that. And that's what I want to know too. So in all, in each weight class that you guys are representing, you have to do those three yeah. yes. things. Okay. Okay. Everyone everyone participates in that. Okay. Three, three compound lifts, nothing else. You have three attempts per lift where you can incrementally go up or if you can't do the lift, you'll fail on it. And then the highest lift you did in that one compound lift uh -huh. is what will go into your total. Right. Okay. And... So this is the North American uh, powerlifting competition mm -hmm. here. How many countries are partaking in this? Um, there's um, all the way from Canada all the way down to Guyana. Um, it's basically everyone, um, everyone who has an association in North America um, are, el are eligible to compete. So it's, uh, we're going up against, there are probably over 150 athletes competing at the competition when we're going over Oh, here. wow. Um, How is the pressure there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I, I can answer that. Being that you know, I competed several times as strong man, to me, is no pressure. My, my, my thing is that I'm going, and I'm going to get back a medal. Thank I'm going, you, I'm going to come back to America. I'm going to come back to Belize, and I'm going to meet you guys at the airport to say that I have, I've been successful in what we go that we wanted. I'm a 120 kilo, so my max weight is 264. And, and so what I normally do is that I, I'm one of the heavier, um, heavier trainers. He is almost keeping up. He's, he sneak out do me on some lifts, but I am the king of the bench. <laughs> and, and, and I love I, how you praise him a little bit, but just be like, yeah, but it's me. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. No, no. He, no he, 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 he's very talented, and he got a lot more strength to grow. I'm almost on the ending of my career in powerlifting. I'm 46 now. There's no ending. Just we say, just had one um, we have year old come. No, no, I, as in, there's no head. ending, but I know that I'm not going to be increasing that much strength okay. over, over, over time. Okay. He's going to be much more stronger in the next two years, three years. So, you know, like I said, I'm the king of the bench. Right now, I'm currently, you know, benching over 400 pounds, and I'm guaranteed that on August 18th, you're going to see me bench over 410 pounds off my chest with a pause. See, that's the difference wow. between when you train in the gym when you train in the gym, it's mostly touch and go. Well, that pause plays a big role because right. then that, that drops your, your strength level by at least 20, 30%. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to just make the crowd be, you know, excited. We're going to have a live stream. So you guys are going to be able to watch us live, perform, and put in that work that we've been doing for over, you know, weeks and weeks and months and months and years and years. So it's just that opportunity now to let's leave all the training alone and know that on that big day, on that game day, on that platform, we're looking to, we're looking to just make every country out there know, don't play with Belize. Belize, <laughs> yes, yeah. Man, don't play with Belize. We, we and, it's not like we're, yeah, and it's not like we're coming from a place. We have precedence there, okay? Because we already went the first time we went was still funded. Mm -hmm. It was just three of us, um, Kaelon, Ryan, and myself. 
Kaylon and Ryan got gold medals, oh? and I got a bronze medal. Oh, so nice. there is precedence there. It's not like we're going so there. Back and then, Owner, I already, already know, <laughs> Owner, already know how everything is running. So yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, not like it's going. I want to ask, because I know, Robert, you mentioned that maybe people can be able to watch it. So can you please tell us where they can be able to watch it as yeah, well? It was um, it's on, we can, it's live stream on YouTube. Um, if, well, as long as you keep up with the Instagram page, the Facebook, we'll share we'll the live stream. Because they usually yeah. post it, um, they usually give us the link. Um, a little before the competition. And what's the name of the Facebook, Facebook. or... So um, you would want to follow the Belize Powerlifting Association page okay. on Belize Facebook and Instagram. Network. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll be doing our lives there as we're traveling, when we reach there, when each um, okay. competing athlete also, is there. And also, um, you could also follow Kinetic Gym. Kinetic going to be okay. host, um, promoting, promoting us and giving us profiles all the way up to competition day. Okay. So then they will be the one to keep the hype along with the Belize Powerlifting Association. Yeah. Oh, um, nice. To let everyone know what we're going to be doing. They, it has a list of our competitors, our weight class, and what we're going to be um, looking out for. Different days are going to be for different weight class. Okay. Uh, I think me and Kale will be on the last day on the 18th. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I hear rumors that you'll be there. So we already have a we already so we already so we already have a fan so we already have a fan that's gonna support us because we're gonna be going to um you know what we call Freshers Territories is gonna be hosted in Panama right. so I don't expect that much fans but I'm my I'm my own fan and wow. and that eight that are gonna be out there on the side of us gonna be cheering us on to make sure that we make what make our lift and over exceed that day so it's just it's just an opportunity for Belize to know that it's a young sport it's a sport that's growing very rapidly. And it's important that giving us the opportunity to be on the international stage right. and be able to actually bring back hardware. You know, it is 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 kind of you know sometimes it's kind of frustrating that we have to fund ourselves because we know that we we put a lot of work in. Yeah. Um, we have been reaching out to a lot of different major um, sponsors, big companies, in, in Belize. and in Belize. I'm not saying that due to the pandemic that they wasn't able to assist, but this is their chance now. Right. You know, this is their opportunity. Um, they will have Khalid's number. He, they can watch them. We do have a Belize bank account. Uh, we're not asking for millions of dollars from the from the smallest amount to the largest amount. If whichever you feel that you could do, it will assist us because we have to fund ourselves. We have to we have to pay for anti-doping. We have to actually um, pay for the hotel. We have to pay for the round trip tickets. And on, right now, um, they might be leaving before me. I may have to try to get. Tropic here, or whichever that could, could actually Cold get me over, right. get me over to El Salvador for me to do an exchange um, flight to Panama. So I'm asking for all of our help. We all know that we have the dedication and we've been putting in the work. We didn't just start doing this yesterday. Right. Yeah. And then also, um, we already have a raffle going right now. The raffle does have he gonna mention the the, um, the sponsors that helped me build my plan, but I have to um, mention the ones that stepped up for me just overnight. Um, so I have to call out Queens Grab and Go, also Celebrity Restaurant, and then my good friends Vachelle and Karan from Cellular World. They just now told me just yesterday, Robert, we got a phone for you. Oh. So then that was a great thing. And also they did tell me to remind you guys that they are the distributors. They're the licensed distributors for Samsung. I love yes, the they have the one-year warranty. <laughs> hey, Michelle, I told you I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so again, people, this is August 15th to 20th, and it will be held in Panama City. It will be live streamed for you guys. Yeah. Um, speaking of the raffle, where can one get tickets? Or they, they... Um, yeah. For anyone that wants to purchase tickets here in Belize City, you can contact me personally, Leo Matura. My number is 615 Zero, zero, 16. I just okay. get that number, so I, I had to remember it just <laughs> Easy one, you're looking at yeah. it. Like. Yes, contact me, or you can message Miss Matura, um, my mother, on her Facebook page, and she'll plug you with the tickets. Okay. She was a big supporter. She was there cheering, not just her son on. She was cheering the whole, the whole team on when we had our national. Also, when we do return back from Panama, we will be planning our local national in between December and February of this of um, either end of this year to the beginning of next year. Okay. So anyone that feel that they could do what we do, start training now, start preparing yourself because it's, like you say, it's growing rapidly. Like yeah. he mentioned yeah. from, from only uh, roughly how old? 19 to, 19 to 40. 40. Not, and then not, the young ones too. Not Sorry. just, not just Belize, so, um, the sport is growing rapidly in the world yeah. as well. It's starting to hit major um, international stages. And I hear rumors that um, the IPF will be in Commonwealth. Oh, wow. Okay. Game soon, so. Movement. Stepping up. Billy yeah. is jumping at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm, I am here for it all. So as we're wrapping up, I know you guys mentioned the raffle. People can go to both the Instagram or the Facebook page and they can be able to see about all the different prizes. We're showing up here on the screen, guys. I don't know if Perfect. you can please put it on our, our main screen so they can see the raffle and see what they can be able to win as prizes too. I understand it's $20 a ticket. $20 a ticket. Yeah. And they Enter can... Enter by August 22nd. Yeah, I was just going to say. So August 22nd is the deadline to like be able to be a part of this. And when you're going to be drawing... August 23rd. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we have to... Uh, we have, so you have an overnight stay for two at Caves Branch and yes. horseback riding and things like that. Oh, it's nice. And so, then the additionals that helped me out overnight and brought it in, like I say, um, Queen's Grab and Go, Celebrity Restaurant, and my, I would say, our platinum for me would be um, Sail the World. Yeah. I also have to give a one little plug to my, um, to my supplement supplier, the health store. On, that's on Central American Boulevard. Okay, I know. Because yeah. if we don't keep ourselves supplements, we wouldn't be able to lift those type of weights. Mm -hmm. This Saturday, you all doing the barbecue in Bamopan? Yeah. yeah. This Saturday, for um, um, residents of Bamopan City, um, the Police Powerlifting Association will be having a barbecue sale. You guys said on the time on that, right? Yeah, um, by midday. Okay. Um, yes. I'm sure you guys are posting that also on your Facebook page yes. so people can be able... Guys, follow the Facebook pages. Please it's going to let you know when they're having fundraisers, where you can get raffle tickets, where you can be able to know when they're going to be out there so you can be able to watch and support. If you're on a candidate physically, make sure you have on a Libby Lizian flag emoji-wise and send it <laughs> yeah. in. You know, share it with other people, guys. Support these gentlemen and I'm believing women yeah. are going to come to um, us. Again, well. there's eight okay. people on the team, four women, four men. Ah! Who I believe are, um, we selected them to be the strongest people in the, in the right. country, right? Okay. Four of our strongest men and women are going abroad to compete in Panama City. All so, right. don't worry, guys. One day we not be self funded They just have come and it just have happen automatically. Just we'll probably get a little stickers there. Wait, I'll oh, yes, the I already <laughs> bought Lita too. So yes, I yeah, exactly. I and, and, wait. and if you if you guys want to, um, you know, put in something to our um, our bodybuilding. I mean, sorry, Belize Powerlifting Association account. You can reach out to Khaled on his WhatsApp page, and then we will shout you. Uh, we will shout you guys out on our page. If okay. all the big companies out there, you know, we're being humble and we're, we're asking you. I'm asking the Boone and Boons. I'm asking the Bennies. I'm asking the, you know, everyone that's out there. Did you sell? Because we're, we're, man, we're representing Belize. We're not representing ourselves. It's not. It's not like um, a sport that. Oh, I'm only thinking about myself. I'm thinking about you know our country. Our country. Right. And and you know how good it feels that you know in the, on the international level. You know that if we get gold, it's our national anthem that is played. So just remember that. It's our national anthem that's played once you receive a gold. So when you think about that, you think about us and reach out to Khalid. And, you know, from $1 to $100, we don't, we, we don't matter because we will mention everyone that sponsored us and supported us and got us to where we needed to go August 12th to the 19th, Panama City, Panama. We're here to shake up the world. Perfectly All right. said. And with that, guys, we just want to thank you so much for being Definitely. here and sharing us, you know, the journey. And I'm hoping that everybody can be a part of that and share in with the journey. Let's make sure it happens, guys. You know, Mate, the last five dollars, whatever it is, just try to give off something because one on Coco full up the basket. And that's what we're looking for right now. Support these a phenomenal female and male um, oh, athletes that are going to go out and represent us well. And so with that, we go to our next commercial break. And when we're back, we're going to be talking about Storyteller Media. 501. So, my life, an unexpected journey. Find out all about that and so much more. Stay tuned.